So question 34, calculate the pH of a 0 0.045 molar solution of potassium fluoride. This is a really tricky uh, concept because if you look at potassium fluoride, you might think potassium fluoride is a salt. How can that influence the pH? Um, and to figure out how potassium fluoride can influence the pH, we need to look at that it ionizes into potassium and it ionizes into fluoride. Fluoride, we got to think, what is fluoride the conjugate base of? Fluoride is the conjugate base of a weak acid, HF. And because it's the conjugate base of a weak acid, right? That means fluoride itself can behave like a base, right? We have this equilibrium between HF and fluoride as a weak acid because we have an equilibrium because the reaction goes to the left the reaction also goes to the right. For this reaction to go to the right, fluoride has to behave like a base. And so that means if you add just fluoride by itself, like sodium fluoride or potassium fluoride to solution, it will change the pH of the solution because fluoride will react with water to form hydroxide and hydrogen fluoride. So we're looking, right? We've added this fluoride into water. We're looking for the pH of this solution. So I've got to find hydroxide and I've got to use that to find um, the pH of that solution. So if we think about fluoride as a base, that means we need to know the Kb um, of fluoride. So the Kb is concentration of hydroxide all over, or times the concentration of HF all over concentration of fluoride. We know the fluoride concentration because we know potassium fluoride concentration. We have to find the Kb so that we can find hydroxide so that we can find HF. And this is where it's a little bit tricky and they don't, they don't list it in the problem, um, but you do need to know, we would have to look up, you know, what is the Kb of fluoride or what is the Ka of HF? We just did a problem with HF. The Ka of HF is 7.2 times 10 to the minus four. How can I use the Ka of HF to find the Kb of fluoride? What's the relationship between those two? Yeah, exactly. We know Ka times Kb equals um, Kw, which is one times 10 to the minus 14. So I know Ka of HF, Ka is 7.2 times 10 to the minus four. Kb, I don't know, and my Kw is one times 10 to the minus 14. 7.2 times 10 to the minus 14, minus four divided by 7.2 times 10 to the minus four. The Kb of fluoride equals, so one times 10 to the minus 14, divided by uh, 7.2 times 10 to the minus four. All right, I get a Kb of like 1.39 times 10 to the minus 11. Now that I know the Kb, I know my fluoride concentration, we can find hydroxide, we can find um, HF. So that was step one. Step two, all right, the Kb, 1.39 times 10 to the minus 11 equals, I don't know hydroxide, I don't know HF, but again, looking at the reaction, right? They should be one-to-one. -one. Those two are going to be formed in the same ratio because for every fluoride that reacts, I'm going to make one hydroxide and one HF. Um, that's all over my concentration 0 0.045 because my potassium fluoride is a strong electrolyte that ionizes completely. So my potassium fluoride concentration equals my fluoride concentration. We're gonna multiply both sides by 0 0.045, right? To get that to cancel out. So that cancels out. I get X squared equals, so 
times 0 0.045. I get x squared equals 6.25 times 10 to the minus 13. Square root, because we're looking for x. Right, so my hydroxide, X is hydroxide. My hydroxide concentration is 7.9 times 10 to the minus seven. All right, so this pH should be pretty close to seven then if I find that. Um, the last step, right, we're still not done. Sorry to say, right, the last step would be to find um, the pOH so that we can find the pH of that solution. I have hydroxide, so pOH is the negative log of hydroxide. POH equals the negative log of 7.9 times 10 to the minus seven. POH equals, so the negative log of this. Yeah, 6.10. And then now we can find the pH of that solution. pH plus POH equals 14. So pH equals 14 minus 6.10. All right, the pH of this solution, 7.9. Should be a little bit basic, right? It should be slightly basic because we just said fluoride on its own, fluoride as the conjugate base of HF, fluoride should behave like a base. And so, yes, adding potassium fluoride to solution should make that solution slightly basic, All right? So rather involved problem, right? We had to go from Ka to Kb, use the Kb to find the hydroxide concentration. Ultimately, we're looking for pH. So once I found hydroxide, I can find pOH. And then the last step, pH plus pOH equals 14.